Capable of sleeping eight, this quad bunk unit has a big, beautiful slide out, tons of outside storage, an outside kitchen, gorgeous interior, and a 10.7 cubic foot fridge. Folks, this is a 2022 Keystone Springdale 298BH. All right, right off the bat, I just want to say I really enjoy the interior of the 2022 Springdales. I think they did a really good job. One of the things that really stands out to me, and I've been saying it for a long, long time, is this right here, what they did with the slide fascia. What you'll notice is it's a lot more modern, right? So often, the slide fascia is very traditional. It has, you know, very rounded cuts and everything else in it. But what they've done here is they made it more modern. It kind of has like a wood look. Uh, something very akin to what you've seen a lot of remodelers do to older travel trailers. And I love that they kind of mimic the look, and I think they honestly did a really good job. You also see that you have a uh, LED light up right up top, right? And it's a nice clean white light, not the blue. I just think they did a great job accenting that as well. So, uh, you know, and you kind of have a good mix of light and dark. You can see they used very dark cabinetry in here. Um, you know, I don't know that I'd go as far as to say it's black, almost like an espresso, right? Like a really deep, dark brown. Um, but, you know, they accented that with gold poles, which I think was a great choice. So again, as far as color palette, I personally really like it. Uh, but let's talk a little bit about floor plan and what you get. So you'll also notice that you have upgraded countertops on here, right? Not T-mold of old. Uh, you can also see because they have that, allows them to undermount the sink. You'll have the black sink in here, drying rack that's actually usable. Uh, I really like this. You know, you can kind of use it as prep space uh, if you need to, or again, as a drying rack. You have the nice high rise industrial style faucet there too. Window all the way across the back, just becoming more and more popular. We've seen that uh, quite often. A lot of manufacturers go into that. Three burner cooktop, it is recessed with the glass cover. So you have that as prep space oven underneath. You have uh, a little space to hang some of your larger utensils over here. So you have the hooks as well as the magnet across across the uh, the face of it. So you know if you need to put some knives and stuff there, you can. Hood right up top, microwave there again, storage across the top as we saw. And if we come around, we'll see some storage down below. So right down here, you have space for a trash can if you want, but there is another space for it too. So if you want to use this for shoes instead, you absolutely can. Plus you have the large deep pullout drawer there and an electrical outlet. And what you'll notice on here is this, it has a little sticker. It says inverted outlet. I'll talk about a little more in depth when we go outside, but basically this one um, has the, the Super Solar Flex 200 on here, which it has a 200 watt solar panel on the roof, and that will bring in power to help trickle charge your battery. If you want to upgrade to the 400, you'll then have 400 watts of solar up on the roof, and you can get the inverted outlet loop. It's already been pre-wired, so all you have to do is install the inverter, and anywhere you see a sticker that says inverted outlet, that means it's inverted, so that way you don't have to have shore power to be able to get 120 it will invert it off your batteries which i think is really awesome i love that they put that in here uh control panel will be located here one of the things i do want to mention is that this your water heater does run off both gas and electric you can turn both those on at the same time for faster recovery um now i talked about another spot for a trash can and right there it is folks you have plenty of room underneath the sink as well so if that's where you want it by all means do so plus you have a drawer right here for your flatware so uh, overall, I think they did a, a great job on the kitchen. They rounded out by giving you the 10.7 cubic foot, 12 volt Everchill uh, refrigerator. So again, one of the things I love about the, the Springdale and Keystone in general, the Super Solar Flex is so many manufacturers are going to the 12 volt refrigerators, uh, but they kind of put it on you to you know get a, another battery and get the solar and everything else that you're gonna need. But here, it already comes with that solar, so it will help run your 12 volt refrigerator, which I love. And again, if you step up into some of those bigger systems, you can start getting the inverted loops and everything else. Uh, just really cool. You can see right here's your thermostat. This will control uh, both your ducted AC as well as your duct furnace again you can see you know kind of that contrast with the light and dark I, I just i love the wood color it's just it's very natural but I, I think they did a good job uh making our way into the bathroom take a seat right here um 
as far as space, you know, it's it's a little tight. You know, if I shut the door, um, you know, it's kind of right here. I don't have a lot of a lot of shoulder space. Don't have a ton of space for my knees or my feet. Well, my knees are fine, but my feet more than anything. Um, again, I can get the job done, but it is uh, it's not a place you're gonna hang out and, and play on your phone or anything. Uh, right in front of me is the shower. If I stand in here, I'm six foot tall. As you can see, I do have enough space, especially with that skylight. I can probably be 6'1 or so to build a shower. If I turn sideways, I will be getting attacked by the curtain. So chances are I'll be standing this way when I shower and just using the hand wand to do uh, what I need to do. Mirrored medicine cabinet right up top there. Nice big countertop. You can see plenty of space right over here. Uh, you of course, your outlet. And again, you can see that one is uh, part of that inverted loop. Storage right down underneath, plus right there over to the side. And if we make our way to the back... As I mentioned previously, this one is a quad bunk. So you have two bunks up top, two bunks on bottom on both sides, 300 pound weight capacity on all the bunks, which is great. Uh, your fuse panel box will be located right down there in case you're wondering where that is if you've purchased this RV already. And then right in the back, you have a hanging rod with tons of storage. So I love that as well that you have uh, actual storage here in the bunk room. You'll also notice you have TV hookup right up top. Uh, one thing of note, this TV hookup is not part of that inverted loop. Uh, I believe the main TV is, but this one back here is not, so just keep that in mind. Making our way back out, we talked about the slide fascia and everything. Windows right here, nice big windows let in, a lot of natural light. Uh, the dinette I like as well. This one actually pulls uh, right out. It's a removable dinette and it swings down into place. So what you can actually do is you can take this out, put it in front of the sofa, swing it down, and now you have a coffee table, right? It's just built right in. Um, I, I kind of like that, uh, again, about the Springdales. And obviously that will swing down into a bed as well if you need that additional sleeping space. Right in between the two windows, you have a little net for your cell phone or whatever, plug it into the USB ports to charge. Uh, right over here is your jackknife style sofa. So you can see that. Um, so, you know, if you need to store anything, obviously, it's a good place for it. Pretty easy to access. That does drop down into a bed. Again, you're probably only sleeping one at the dinette and, you know, probably one here. If, uh, if an adult at all, you'll have to curl up pretty good on that one. Uh, and then lastly will be your entertainment space. And what you will notice is you have a pretty big space here for a good-sized TV. I do like when manufacturers do that. You also see right over to the side some prep, right? Um, because it's a Keystone, it has the Key TV system. You can see it also has your satellite prep right there. And as I mentioned, that one is uh, part of that inverted loop. And then right down below, multimedia center speakers on the side. Great multimedia center. It does have a DVD player built in there as well if you want to watch a movie. Of course, Bluetooth capable as you would expect. Fireplace front and center. Not only does that look great, but it also will be an electric space heater. You'll also see a little bit of storage on both sides of that entertainment center. And as we come up into the bedroom, it doesn't stop here either. Again, more great features. Lift this guy up, you will see that you have your little uh, spot for your dirty clothes, a clothes hamper there. Um, you have outlets on both sides. And uh, once again, those both are part of that inverted loop. So if you have a CPAP machine, something like that, you can still use it even if you're uh, you know, camping without shore power. You can see the wardrobes on both sides. I like they put in two shelves. A lot of manufacturers only put in one, and you know why wouldn't you put in two? You're, you're not going to sit straight up in bed and, and hit your head on this. So you know, especially and they mounted it high enough, so it's not going to impede you. So I do like having the second one for more storage. If you want a TV, you will see that there is a space to mount it right over on that wall. And right up top, uh, this one is also prepped for a second AC. So if you want a second one in here, that is where it would go. Now that we've seen the insides, take a look at some of the outside features on the 2022 Keystone Springdale 298BH. Up front, as you'd probably expect, is a power tongue jack. This makes it a lot easier to connect and disconnect from your tow vehicle. Also makes it easier to level the RV front to back. There is a light and manual override in the rare event it fails. Behind that, you have two 20-pound propane tanks with a cover. And look at this. As I mentioned earlier, they have two dedicated places for your battery. They know that chances are you may want a second battery, and boom, there you go. It is already built in, very easy to install. One of the things I really, really like about Keystone, when they came out with the Super Solar Flex system, they also came out with this 12-volt distribution box. And what that does is it only has uh, you know, one, one positive, one negative coming out of there, rather than having like 
three or four different cables that you all have to connect to one battery terminal. It just really cleans things up. All the connections you need to make are right inside here. Plus it has a built-in battery disconnect right in there. Really, really great system, just making life that much easier. Now I talked about the uh, 200 watt solar panel on the roof and how that is expandable to add more solar panels, but you will also see, let's say this is your second travel trailer and you already have Zamp solar panels and you want to uh, be able to plug it right in, right? You can do that, it's built for it. So you can have the portable panels here as well, just bringing more solar into this RV. Uh, smooth aluminum front, by the way, I want to add that. Not only does that look nice, but it does make that front end easier to clean than if it is your standard aluminum siding. Uh, if we take a look right here, you will see your pass-through storage. Now, a little bit smaller door on the other side, um, and there's some things that I'll touch on when we get over there, but you will see this is a nice wide door for some of your bigger items like grills, wider chairs, things like that. And of course, you have your uh, LED light in there too. You will also notice your stabilizer jacks are powered. This front control will operate the front two. There'll be a rear control for the rear two. 12 volt power awning with an LED light strip. It doesn't matter if the awning is completely retracted like it is right now or fully extended. You can still use that light. A couple outside speakers which are connected to that multimedia center. And again, that unit is Bluetooth capable. You will have your grab handle right here as well as the LCI solid steps, aluminum treads on there, some grip tape too. And this does make it easier to get in and out of the RV. This is another uh, really cool thing right here. It seems really small, but this is about that super solar flex. I know when it comes to solar, a lot of people get confused, but this is a QR code. You can just scan that. It'll take you to the website, show you everything you need to know about solar as well as uh, give you a direct link to download the app, which I highly, highly recommend. Um, you will also notice a place to mount your TV. You have the cable outlet and your inverted outlet right over here. So you will be good to go. Neat thing about this is you can actually take that same TV from inside, take it off that mount, drop it in right here. That way you don't have to have a second TV. You can just use the one both inside and out. Make my back a little bit further is the black tank flush, helping to wash out that black tank so you don't have to stick a hose or anything down the toilet. You just hook it up right here. That black tank has sprayers built in. It'll wash it out for you. And right underneath that's your outside shower with both hot and cold water access. Speaking of water access, you will also see a spray port located there. And a little bit further back is the outside kitchen. Storage right up top, two burner cooktop down below, and your refrigerator over to the side with a light. I personally love having an outside fridge. Um, and again, it's one of the great things about a bunk model is oftentimes you can get this because of the space underneath the bunk. You'll see that uh, rear control there for your rear power stabilizer. And as we come around to the back, you have your square tubular bumper where you can store an end cap, plus you have the spare tire mounted right to it, making it very easy to access. Right up top is backup camera prep if you want a backup camera. Now in the very beginning of this video, I talked about great outside storage, and yes, you have that up front, but take a look at this. Again, they utilized that space on that bunk and gave you this extra storage here, which I love. Uh, you'll also see right over to this side, the uh, 50 amp detachable power cord plugs right into there. It is 50 amp, of course, because you have the fireplace as well as the fact it's prepped for the second AC. And then you will see your termination right down below with both your black and gray tank valves. And if we make our way up in front of the slide here, a couple of last quick things I want to hit on. One are that both your water connections will be right up front, both your city water as well as your fresh tank fill. And if you take a look right in here, you will see the controller for that um, for your, your solar system, just as I mentioned. And again, there's a QR code on here too. You can scan that. You can download the app and folks, it will let you run everything and uh, show you all the data there is on solar, which is great. And over to the side, you can see that one is prepped for an inverter. As I mentioned, if you want to upgrade that system and get that, uh, that inverted loop, again, that is super beneficial if you plan on doing a little more boondocking. So folks, I hope you enjoyed this one right here. Again, this is the 2022 Keystone Springdale 298BH. If you're interested in this wonderful family travel trailer, looking to sleep, a lot of people love the interior design, which I don't blame you. And you're like, Ian, what is the price and availability on it? Well, no worries. All you have to do is click on the link in the description. It will give you the price and show you availability nearest you. Thanks again for watching, folks. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.